Yes, I, I would suggest you run away. Run away. Or not. Just let him run through. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> everybody and welcome to a showcase video here we are in ancient Egypt a lot of desert but also a lot of water and to the left a lot of woodland yes today we're going to be looking at some really cool mods that have been released uh, and of course one of them uh, you've probably seen in the thumbnail already did I choose it oh god maybe not this is obviously what you've been waiting for the Oranosaurus am I right you know? Okay, but this is a mod. This is a paleontologically accurate Oranosaurus. Um, you might be asking what, what, what the hell's different about it. And to be honest, I, I'm really not too sure. He has giant nostrils, apparently. <laughs> I think it's a case of um, its uh, snout is a lot thinner and maybe its hump is a little less pronounced. I'm really not too sure. As you can see here in the picture, he's got a little bit of a wider one. So there is two different types of colors of these guys. So we're just going to release all of them. Now, the reason we're making a lot of them is, well, they can actually live in a herd of 15 and be completely fine with it, thanks to the genetic modifications we've had added to them. Uh, the next animal that we have, and there's going to be a lot of carnivores in here as well, is a not-so-familiar Archaeornithomimus. Let's have a look. Is it? No, it isn't what it should be, and it is an over uh, overactor. <laughs> Good God, James! Do you not even remember what mods you call these are? No, it is an overactor, and actually, it uh, doesn't have a different sound effects because I <laughs> I can recognize the uh, Orchiolophimus sound effects anywhere. But that is such a cool addition. This is added by Echo Green, giving us just uh, something that looks a little bit different, and you know, a dinosaur bird thing, technically, um, that we've wanted for a long time. Just something to spice up the boring roster of Archaeonothomimus, Struthiomimus, Gallimimus. Uh, is there another one? I feel like there's another one, but good lord, I'm not remembering it because there's too many of the gosh darn same things. Oh, they're all sort of filling out now. Oh, that looks great. But as you'll notice from the above view, we have one, two, three hatcheries. <gasps> oh, a Spinosaurus, a Carcharodonosaurus, and an Acrocanthosaurus have been added to the game. And they look a lot, a lot, a lot different. Oh, the Archaeonothomimus, or should I say, Oviraptors are uh, sticking together. Lovely, look at them all. Making squawky squawks. Oh god, there's gonna be a lot of them. <laughs> now, whether or not these guys existed in ancient Egypt, I'm really not too sure. We're not we're not some sort of documentary program here. We're just here to look at some really cool models. <laughs> look at them. Now, if Frontier were to make the Oviraptor, I would be sure that they would probably make it a carnivore, or at least an omnivore. Maybe you could have multiple feeders in there, and just depending on what you want to make, uh, you can. Otherwise, we could have, like, an egg feeder. <laughs> oh, yep, they're still coming out. Entering the dinosaur from the light angle that you're not wanting to see. This one, the Spinosaurus. Oh, damn. Now, it is not the uh, redesigned model, because this uh, skin was not made for it. It's the classic. But, oh, it looks so, so good. This is actually Todd Marshall's uh, Spinosaurus from a concept art that if you've ever Googled Spinosaurus before, you've probably found. If you've ever made uh, very cringy slideshow uh, videos for dinosaurs and put them on YouTube to edgy teen music. Yes, that's a thing that I did once. We'll, we'll move on now. But one of the cooler Spinosaurus skins, that's for sure. Uh, unfortunately, even though there are fish feeders, it would appear this Spinosaurus is choosing to feed on... Uh, oh, maybe no? Is it? Oh, I thought it was actually going to go for the Oranosaurus. Oh, it's going for the fish feeder. Oh, great. Hold on. There you go. Proof that Spinosaurus was indeed a fish eater. Oh, it looks so good. Now, this is made by Harlequin's Ego, I think that is, or Harlequin's Egg Zero, or Egg Zero. Commissioned by Guretu. I hope that's how, that's probably not how you spell it. I'm hoping, I know, I'm hoping in vain here. <laughs> Who commissioned this beautiful skin? 
So, we're looking at mods that uh, people are actually commissioning for, or skins at least. Um, this, of course, like I said before, doesn't actually have any difference. Um, oh yeah, of course the Spinosaur can't hunt, can it? I've turned that off, no wonder he's went for them. <laughs> oh dear, oh that's great, unless he's actually going for the Overraptor. Oh, no, 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 there you go, there you go, it's, it's, is it even full? It's, it is full, but it just decided to kill an overrupt. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Well, as seeing as we've seen one, we might as well release the other ones because I think this actually has multiple different skins. Or it definitely has two, that's for sure. Although, I wanted to just make a couple of the same one just to see how they would interact with each other. Because these guys will. Because they can have four to five of the pack leaders. Ooh. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. I love it to pieces. Go on, off you go. Into the jungle. No doubt you're going to kill something else. Is anything else dead? Now, I've deliberately... Oh, that, that shot looks so cool. I've deliberately added inside the jungle here a little herbivore feeder, I think. Did I not? Nope, there it is. But uh, nobody likes the jungle, apparently. They're all, uh, well, this is where the water is, so this is where we're going to stay. Obviously, we see their priorities. But it did seem that the Spinosaur- Oh god, there's the new skin- Oh god, wait, what? No, it's not? <gasps> Ooh, that's not the new skin. Ooh. Although, it kind of is? I don't recognize that skin on the regular Spinosaurus. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, that has to be a different one, right? Yes, I, I would suggest you run away. Run away. Or not. <laughs> Just let him run through. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Attack from behind! He didn't even see it coming. So yeah, this is actually the Spinosaur skin um, that was commissioned. But it seems like the Alpine. I didn't even know. I thought there was only two different types of skins. Oh, would you look at that? We got a different one then. Fan bloody fantastic! Oh, I was going to say we haven't gotten a Rhinosaurus. Oh, and there it is. Another skin. This is the skin that I thought we were going to see. Oh, so whether or not you liked the skin from Jurassic Park of the Spinosaurus, you've got these gorgeous natural colorings in here. And I have to admit, Spinosaurus... Oh god, is he going for another kill? Oh my god, he's going for another one! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, oh, that tongue is beautiful! Blackcurrant flavor, or should I say grape flavored? Right, he's going on a proper killing spree. He's not... Oh, is it the settings? Have I just set them to, like, constantly battle things? Oh, look at it. It's so cool. Turning one of the best dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution is giving, making it even better. The skins and the model for Spinosaurus is just so good. It's one of those iconic dinosaurs, apart from the Dilophosaurus and the T-Rex, in the Jurassic franchise that you can pick out from a crowd and definitely a fan favorite. And these skins? My god. Okay, he's going for this guy who's just presenting his boot. Oh, there, there we go. We got another kill over there by that one. And then this guy is lining up this one. You're about to die. Oh, that's not the one. That was a surprise one. Damn it. <laughs> it's about time we enter or see from the terrible goddamn angle. Carcarodontosaurus. Yes, you may have seen this guy before. From, you know, I can't even remember where I featured it. <laughs> but this is the JPOG Carcarodontosaurus. The reason why I'm releasing this guy is because uh, Carcarodontosaurus did exist with Spinosaurus. Uh, but we do have another one to see. Yes, finally from a good angle. This guy. Another J Oh, the blooming the trees, the trees, really. Well, there you go. Nope. Oh, God. Okay, he's off. They're off. The Acrocanthosaurus. Now, not only is this, you know, a remodel, but it also has the skin from JPOG. So we got the Carcarodontosaurus from JPOG, and now we've got the Acrocanthosaurus from JPOG. It's only a matter of time <laughs> until people remodel and reskin every dinosaur from Jurassic World Evolution and make them look like JPOG. Now, just as a comparison, I deliberately added this Acrocanthosaurus, so if they ever actually decide to do a battle, uh, which, oh god, these guys are getting straight into it. Ooh! Is that a 45? That's a 40%! Oh, he's on 63. Oh, okay, never mind. It's kind of equal. 
Yeah, so this is the regular Acrocanthosaurus. There's definitely some differences in the head. I remember the head and the neck just sort of merging into each other, but now we've got some definition. Uh, the biggest difference between the Acrocanthosaurus from JPOG and this guy is that the spine doesn't have the quills almost. It looked like some sort of spikes. Whereas this one is more kind of up to date with how it would kind of look with just a high rise spine. And of course, Acrocanthosaurus means high spine lizard. And yeah, it, uh, it def definitely has that. It's giving Spinosaurus a run for its money. And a little Easter egg on top of all of this is the newest mod added to the uh, the game so far, turning Dread Nortus into the thickest, chunky, chungus, chunky boy I have ever seen. I saw this and I thought, are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at him. He's massive. Oh, but he's so cute. Have you seen his head? Hold on. I got rid of these pointless trees. We don't need them. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the eye! Oh, bless him! He's like, tree? Friend! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god, he's adorable! I can only imagine what people would have thought if this thing was released by Frontier. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, it really is. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that almost all of the herbivores are now dead. Oh, Spinosaurus dead! Killed by Carcharodontosaurus! Oh, beautiful. Oh, there you go. Acrocanthosaurus being one of those dinosaurs that um, has a different attack animation. I was hoping to see it, but uh, it would appear that Carcharodontosaurus has just killed him. One of my favorite of the original Frontier skins there, this guy. He just looks like some sort of ice cream lollipop. Oh, there you go. Another Spinosaurus killed. Their Carcharodontosaurus are just going on a rampage, apparently. Taking down all of the Spinos. Oh, look at it. You know what? For all its flaws, this game, you know, the animations are predictive. The dinosaur's behavior, again, is very predictable. There's not really... Uh... Oh, there you go. There was the attack animation. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I think that's one of the things that this game does suffer from. It, now, not its graphics, don't get me wrong, they are beautiful. It's the, it's kind of like, you know when you see a movie and it's really cool, you're like, wow, these graphics are amazing, that was awesome. A bit like people who watch The Lion King, you know, the remake. And just like this game, you make the enclosures, you, oh, cheers. <laughs> cheers, love, that was a lovely shot. You see the movie, and you know what's gonna happen. Just like with this game, you know, you make your park, you make the enclosures, you've seen the dinosaurs before, so the wow factor's not there anymore. And that's what mods allow, is longevity. Because this game does look gorgeous, and even though Frontier do not support mods, oh god, he's come straight for me, run, run! Um, this is something that the game desperately needs just to keep relevancy. Oh god, there we go. We have the last four Oranosauruses, and they're all running together. I'm pretty sure that they deliberately stopped- they, Didn't they have an update to stop this from happening? I'm so sure that they did. Oh god. Ooh, Acrocanthosaurus versus Karkar. -Kar. Bam! Look, their headbutt there. Beautiful. Did he kill him? Oh, he got him! Now, I don't think the Acrocanthosaurus has a different attack animation, which is such a shame. Oh, you should, like, bowl him over. Like, go ram underneath him so he lifts his leg up and then do that. That would be cool. At least a little bit of a variation. But it's so good to have a little bit of nostalgia put back into the game. You know what, though? I don't think I've seen a Spinosaur win a single battle. They were primarily fish eaters. And uh, is he dead as well? Oh, come on. You can't die. You're like the albino one. Go on, kill him, Spino. Do it. Don't die, Spino! Don't die! Oh, they're calling it off. Okay, well, fair enough. And they called it off as well. Oh my god! Look at that! Look at the legs! And look at those hips! <laughs> There's some childbirth and hips. Come on, Spino! Do it for Todd Marshall! Kill him! Oh, he got him! Yes! He did! 
He did the impossible. Spinosaurus gets a kill. Your victory has been overshadowed by uh, another car card on the source. That one's probably going to kill you, though. Oh, there go the last remaining uh, members of the Oranosaurus herd. Right, guys, who do you think is going to win between all of these? We've got two Spinos, an Acro, and I think two car cars. No, oh, God, we got loads. Hold the phone. I only made about three Acrocandosauruses, and we've got two of them left. Right, okay, who has died? We've lost a car card on the source, an Acrocanthosaurus. Another car car. Ooh, he's on a hundred percent. Yep, that Acrocanthosaurus didn't really stand a chance, did it? What is your attack? 149, 74. What is the Acros? 157, 72. Wow, the Acros should be better. But he got absolutely rinsed. Didn't even get a bite off there. What about you? 169, 71. Yeah, this. What the hell is? How come the spiders were dying? What is going on? You know what this calls for? Bigger black bars! The bigger, the more serious the movie! Yeah. Okay, I think we've got... We've got a car car and one left um, that has, I think, about 100% health. And this Acrocanthosaurus doesn't really uh, have the health. Uh, but that Spino does, I think. No, he's got a scar on his head. The real winner here is this bloody massive chunky boy. <laughs> oh my God, it's all going down over here. Woo! These are the last ones. Three Spinosaurs, two car cars, and one Acro. Oh, the Acro is buggering off. He's getting health back. That's cheating. Ooh, 100% taking on 100%. <gasps> How will this one go? Ooh, 65, that's good. That's 20% higher than an instant kill. If they get 45% on the first hit, they're dead. Oh, Spinosaur well should win, really. Look at his little eye, it's outside his socket. The hamster that you've just sat on. He's taken on the albino. He's got 46% and he had more. Oh, I think the Spino might lose this one. 18% taking on 25%. I don't understand how the spiders are losing. That's it, he's out. How did you do that? Oh no, that's it. Spinosaurus out of there. It's now up to the uh, Acrocanthosaurus to take on the car cars. I'm just comparing these guys. And the time it's taken the car car and Onosaurus to get, what is that, 2%? The Acrocanthosaurus has got 6% in health. Look at that, 47% now. The other guy is still on 20, well, he's 27% now. But the Acro is almost, he's almost doubling him. Look at that, 54%. And they're going in for another battle. Wow. Oh, no, my God, he killed him. He flipping killed him. Is the Acro going to win? There's only one car car on the source left, but he's doing it. Oh, here we go. The battle begins! And he actually got to 91% before he had the fight. Now, Karkaranosaurus has better stats. Look, 70% against 58%. If one's gonna win in this battle, it would be the Karkar. However, I don't think it's gonna end like this. It's too close. Even though Akrakanosaurus had almost 10% less health. Yeah, nah. I think that it's gonna have to go to a second battle. And that's when Acro's regeneration ability is probably gonna shine. Is he gonna go for a hit? Yeah, there we go, unless he's dead now. No, he's not dead now. Ooh, who do you think he's gonna win? Kokogonosaurus had more health and better stats, but will Acro's regeneration be its saving grace? Oh, the second battle starts. ADC on 87%. Now it's 49 on the first bite for Car Car. And 62 for the Acro. Wow. Now the Car Car Donosaurus was on 42% when he ended the last battle. Now he's on 18. The Acro was on 22 and is now on 39. That's it. The Acro has won. Because of his regeneration stat, the Acro is able to beat the Car Car on the source, even with lower stats. If we just have a double check, we got 149 against 74. You know what? Never mind. The Acro can the source is way better anyway. <laughs> After all that, 
I was so sure it was the car car that was better. You know, it's about five genes. It's about five genes because the car car has like two genes better for defense and the acro has about five genes better for attack. So it's about give or take three or five genes. So they are kind of equal. It's just because look at 54% in comparison to 29%. One more battle and that is it. The acro has won. Oh. Well, hey, they're ending it in the forest. That's quite nice. Oh, 21% against 91%. Are you kidding? Oh, poor Kaka never stood a chance with that regeneration ability. It's all in the spine. The final hit. Taking Kaka down. And Acrocanthosaurus wins this battle with 91%. Health. He started it with 10% less, or sorry, 10 less health than the car car, and now wins it with 10 less health than max health. That is ridiculous. But hey, leave in the comments down below telling me if this is something that you've noticed, and is it just the Acrocanthosaurus that shares this trait? But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I didn't mean for this to be this long, I really didn't, but I got really interested and quite invested in that little bugger. Lap of victory. And until next time, I'll see you later. Or oh, bye bye.